Dean Barnett nil York five. After last week's performance, you wanted to see a bit of a reaction. You didn't necessarily get that today. How are you feeling after a bit of a humbling result? Um, look, first and foremost, I want to congratulate York on their performance. I thought they were outstanding from start to finish. Everything that could have went wrong went wrong for us today. Harry Pritchard, big player for us, come off injured. Obviously, Dan's got done for two yellow cards. Naive. And uh, we've got to give credit to the opposition. Um, from our point of view, we just not had the races today. That's the first game this season where we haven't been proper competitive and we were beat by a better side. You came into this game and how did you prepare? What, what aspects of York City did you know were going to be testing and how did they? Did you not necessarily counteract these today? I thought our eight was outstanding in the midfield. He ran the midfield, obviously wanted to try to stop him. And the lad up front obviously was a handful all day. Big, strong boy and uh, bullied us really. Um, we know everything about York. At the end of the day, look, the better team have won on the day. You know, They made more blocks than us, they made more tackles than us. Um, and they sort of outpressed us of what we wanted to do to them. So, look, you know, like I say, uh, we've done our research in the opposition. We, we don't not know about them. Um, and we've beaten with a better team on the day. I know that you were in the dressing room talking to the players for, for a little while longer than normal. What was said in the dressing room at half time and after the final whistle? That's private. That's between me and the players. I don't know why you want to know that. Why would you want to know that? I wanted to know it because, well, between me and the players, that's fine. You? Well, I asked the same question last week and you said yeah, that it was not a dis discussion. I think I'm disapp disappointed. I'm just asking the question, Dean. Okay. That's, well, it's, it's a rubbish question. It's between me and the players. And at the end of the day, the players were beaten by a better team today. Simple as that. Danny was no, not at all, Dean. It was just a repetitive question from last week, where you were, you said that senior players stepped up and said actually we weren't good enough today, and it was just a repet re repetition of that question. And if you're not forthcoming with an answer, that's all we can do. Danny was sent off um, before just before half time. What did you make of the second yellow card? Unprofessional from Danny. Getting rolled. The research we gave the players that you can't get tight to the kid. The kid's got power. He can roll you. And Danny's being naive and inexperienced. And Pritchard went off with an injury. Can you tell us anything about that injury at all? Some, something to do with his knee until uh, it settles down over the next two days. We're not sure what the situation is. With. Where do we go from here? We've got Maiden, uh, Maidstone apologies on Tuesday night. What will your preparations look like? Walk harder. The harder you walk in life, the luckier you get. We were out walk today with the opposition. Simple as that's the first game this season where the opposition were way better than us. So full credit to them. And sometimes in life, what don't kill you makes you stronger. And you have to stick together, Don. Everybody sticks together. That's so important in this business. 100%. Dean, thank you.